Now you may join the Elks, my friend, and I may join the Shriners, and other men may carry cards as members of the diners. Still others wear a golden key or small Greek letter pin. But I have the Grand Lodge of Free and Accepted Masons was built in 1873. The land was purchased on July 1st, 1867 for about $150,000. The architect for the Grand Lodge was Brother James H. Windrum. Overall, the cost of the Grand Lodge was about $1,600,000. The two Grand Towers are extremely prominent and are known as the Northwest and Southwest Towers. Keep a given each brother all. The height of the Southwest Tower at Broad and Filbert Street is 250 feet. When building the Grand Lodge, it was necessary to lay the foundation 31 feet below street level. The elevations on Broad and Filbert Street are based on Norman architecture. In other words, they are bold and elaborate. Inside the north side of the building are the private suite of the Right Worship Grand Master, the Grand Banquet Hall, and Oriented Hall. On the south side are the offices of the Grand Secretary, Grand Treasurer, and the administrative staff of the Grand Lodge. On the second floor of the temple are Corinthian, Renaissance, Ionic, Egyptian, and Norman halls. Gothic Hall is on the third floor. From the end of the second floor corridor, two curved stairways lead to the third floor, whose cor corridor has many decorations representing varied types of ancient architecture and embellishments.